Hey guys, it's Starry Dream here and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, welcome and welcome to Third Eye Thursdays where we are in part three of how to decalcify the pineal gland so we can create lasting effects that actually work to open the third eye and to keep it open, okay? So in today's video, we're gonna learn five more ways to decalcify the pineal gland, okay? All right, see you guys inside the video. Hey guys, and welcome to Third Eye Thursdays. We're doing a little mini series on how to decalcify the pineal gland, okay? So in part one, I talked about why that's so important and why you wanna start there and how opening uh, the third eye really depends on decalcifying the pineal gland. So when you decalcify the pineal gland, it actually creates those lasting effects to keep that third eye open. So if you guys haven't seen part one, I'm gonna leave a link right here so you guys can go check that out. Uh, where I talk about the importance of that and how it all relates to the third eye, okay? All right, and then uh, I also just wanna say, first, I'm not a doctor and I'm not affiliated with any of these products. This is just my process, what I've been doing over the years, what I know that actually works because I've seen the results. So I only wanna tell you guys my story and what I know that will actually help decal decalcify the pineal gland, what actually helped me tap into my intuition, open up my psychic senses and open up my third eye, okay? So yeah, I can only share my truth to you guys. Also, I want you guys to type in the chat the five things as we go over it. Type in those five things because you wanna reaffirm your learning. Okay, so the first product I have here is apple cider vinegar. Okay, so this is actually a natural detoxifier and how it helps decalcify the pineal gland is the malic acid that's in it, okay? So, I have Bragg's here. Um, you would definitely wanna get one that has the mother in it. I choose this one, one, cause it is organic. I've been taking this practically daily for almost five years. And so I've tried quite a few, many brands and I always come back to this one. This one just seems to taste the best. Now, we are taking a vinegar product, so not gonna taste the best. However, uh, like you can do straight shots of it. Some people put in their water. I don't. Um, I just do like a little shot of it, like two to three tablespoons. I'll do it in the morning. Uh, you could just do it throughout the day a couple times, whatever works for you. However, like I mix it with some juice, some organic juice, or some juice not from concentrate. That's just me. You can mix it with anything, anything you like. Oh yes, yeah. so it's the malic acid in here that helps binds, it binds to the toxins and helps eliminate them through our body. That's what makes this such a powerful detoxifier for our body, but also especially the pineal gland, right? Okay, so this is something I definitely highly suggest incorporate it into your daily life, your diet, whatever it is, try it out, mix it with some juice or whatever you think is best for you. However, um, this is a, a, is a huge game changer. Also, one other thing, so <sighs> apple cider vinegar, it actually balances out your pH, right? So it's alkalining your body. With that, our bodies either alkaline or acidic. And what I've noticed uh, through the results just in my life and some of the research I've done, the more alkaline you get, the more alignment, the more you're in alignment, the more I tap into that intuition. So I do always try to keep my body in a very high alkaline state because then the channel is just open and energy just flows through me and to me and I'm just in that flow state naturally. So even outside of it decalcifying the pineal gland, it does help open your third eye because it raises your vibration and brings you in that alkaline state and it energizes your body and gets you in that flow state. Okay, so the second thing you need to know about to help decalcify the pineal gland is iodine. So iodine is actually essential for our health. It is so important for our thyroid and our organs. However, it's another great decalcifier, right? It detoxifies the glands, especially the pineal glands. So what I have here is actually a raw uh, plant-based vitamin. So I've been transitioning out of um, some of the supplements, as you guys saw last week, I had ones that were veggie capsules or vegan capsules, and I've been recently taking a lot more plant-based vitamins. So basically, this is iodine, but iodine can be found in all kinds of stuff, like seaweed and kelp. And so this basically is a plant-based version of iodine, and it's just kelp. That's basically all it is. Okay, so remember how we talked about in video one, how the fluoride and water is so damaging for the pineal? 
Well, iodine will move that sodium fluoride from the water. And if we have it in our body, it removes it and then we release it through our urine. So this is really good to help cleanse the pineal, decalcify it, another great detoxifier. Not only does it help remove fluoride from our body, it also helps with other heavy metals such as aluminum, lead, and mercury. So I just have the brand here, Peak Performance. Like I said, I get the raw, whole food, plant-based version. However, there are other brands. You don't have to get this one. I just was trying to stay as natural as possible, so I got the one that has the kelp in it. Okay, now for the third thing you need to help decalcify the pineal gland is something called Shilajit. So, I kept it in the box here just to guys show you how to spell it, what the word is, in case you haven't heard of it. It's Shilajit, so I'll actually open it up. I actually just got this one. So, it's just a... Um, like black gooey can kind of be a tar based substance however that, that's basically it inside um the, it comes in a few different forms the first kind i bought was the liquid and so i was told that was the purest right so it does come in a few different ways so i tried that however when i bought that they're like hey here's a free sample and it was the the solid version of it and then i realized that solid version was actually the strongest so this is now the third type of shilajet that i'm getting it is a resin so it is actually a combination of the liquid and the solid it even comes in capsules so it does come in many different variety of options and you just find the one that works for you now i haven't tried this resin one yet however i've been taking shilajet for several years now and the the solid and the liquid i both know noticed great effects okay so let's talk about what shilajet is so shilajet has 85 plant derived minerals including ding, 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 fulvic acid. Okay, that's what you actually need. So if you can find fulvic acid and anything else, that's what you're gonna need to help open the third eye and decalcify the pineal gland, okay? I was recommended this. I actually like this. This has so many numerous health benefits, as do all of this stuff. However, um, this one, like I take in the morning, it gives me energy. Now, I could do a whole video on this actually, and all the beautiful health benefits it has. However, I wanna focus on just the pineal and the third eye. Like I said, the main thing in this is the fulvic acid. So, the fulvic acid, natural detoxer of heavy metals, and environmental toxins. This actually helps remineralize your body. Doing so, it helps to unblock the chakras, right? So this is great for opening the third eye. Okay, so this doesn't actually taste the best. If you're gonna take it, just take, it's like a tiny, tiny little piece and you could just put it under your tongue. However, I put it in my cacao in the morning and it, like we talked about in video one, cacao is bitter. However, it's interesting because this tastes even worse, but when I put this in my cacao in the morning, it tastes like cocoa. It brings the chocolate out of it like crazy. So I love mixing this and the cacao together and double amplifying the detoxification and opening the third eye, right? However, this is not something you should take daily. You have to cycle this through your body. So what does that mean? You take it probably for about a month and then you stay off of it for three to four months. So every three to four months, that's why this one's not opened yet. I ordered it uh, right when I finished my other one because I know when, when I'm out of my other one, I wanna jump right back in to start taking it. So every three to four months, you can take it every day and for about 30 days. And I, like I said, I take it in the morning because it helps with those energy levels. So the one I have here is pure Himalayan shilajit. Like I said, this is the soft resin. You could try whichever one you like. However, you don't even have to get this brand. I found this on Amazon. I really like this one, but again, shilajit or any kind of fulvic acid, I totally recommend for energy, detoxifying the pineal. And oh, this is a must for opening the third eye. The fourth thing you need to know about to help decalcify the pineal gland is melatonin. Okay, now we also talked about this in video one. <laughs> we talked about how the pineal gland actually produces the melatonin. So right there, ding, ding, ding. Oh my God, my pineal actually produces it. That's something I definitely want to take to help decalcify it, right? Some may say my body's already naturally producing it. So why do I want to put an extra supplement in my body that my body already has? Well, when your pineal gland is calcified and it's not functioning properly, the pro production 
of melatonin being released into your body is not going to happen properly. It's just not going to function properly. So you may get less, you may get more. Melatonin is that sleepy aid we talked about that your body produces about an hour after sunset. So if it's not producing the right amount of melatonin, you could feel like you're sleeping more, extra drowsy, extra tired, or you're not getting at all. So you're just more awake and, and you're having trouble sleeping. Speaking of having trouble sleeping, I used to have insomnia pretty bad. And when I started getting more into like natural products and homeopathic and, and just natural supplements versus taking a prescription pill, I came across melatonin. Uh, I knew it was already in the body and I knew it felt like a more natural product to take. So I decided to start taking this at night and it works just as good as any sleeping pill and even better because you're not putting any other toxin or chemicals in your body. Taking this will also help control the melatonin in our bodies as we take it. For me personally, insomnia is not something I deal with anymore. However, I do like to keep this as a backup because maybe during the full moon energies or just sometimes, right? You just can't sleep. Sometimes that moon will keep me awake or, you know, maybe I just got that racy brain tonight. So every now and then, you know, I will take this as needed. Yes, it will help me to get some sleep that night. However, if there's any calcium building up with my pineal gland, I know I can count on this one to go in, take it and remove the calcium to help me get back into alignment to keep my third eye open. This is another product by now. So another good brand if you're looking for a vegan or veggie capsule. I've tried many different brands of melatonin and I don't think it really makes a difference which one you get. You can't really get it organic or plant-based. Not that I've really seen. It, it's just something that's naturally produced and it's just it's supplement right the only thing you can really do to help get it in its purest form is the capsule because it's what's inside so i actually decided to go back to now i thought i was done buying them and going to those more plant-based products however this one says it helps get rid of free radicals and that's something i've been really diving deep into and so i was like sold done got to get it right and like i said it really doesn't matter which brand you get with this I have here now, but any kind of melatonin will work. Helps with sleep. Don't take it during the day. Don't take it before driving, like before bed, because you'll get those sleepy eyes. So a great relaxant and you'll have a good night's sleep. And also, right, helps open the third eye. That's what we're all here for. Okay, so the fifth thing you guys need to know about to help decalcify the pineal gland is something called hydrilla, okay? So like the shilajit that I kind of just left in the package, so you guys can see what it is, how to spell it. Okay, so basically just another supplement and a capsule, uh, just pills, right? More supplements to take. What is this hydrilla? You talk about astaria? It's basically aquatic grass coming from freshwater lakes or simply put, you could just say seaweed, right? So when we talked about iodine being essential in this process to help open the third eye, there was kind of two forms if you're looking for it a little bit more raw, and I said kelp and seaweed. So the bottle I had earlier, right, that was the kelp. Well, like I said, simply put, this is just seaweed. This one I like a lot because what's the theme of today? It helps detoxify the pineal gland, <laughs> right? Don't they all though? However, that's what we have to do. We have to pull out that calcification. We have to detox the pineal to get it to function properly to then open the third eye, open our intuition, open us up to the mystical, magical realms of the divine. This one particularly I really like because it helps stimulate the third eye and it purifies the pineal. This hydrilla, I actually ordered it on eBay and they no longer have that listing anymore. I went online to make sure I had the right brand because it says Ram Man Enterprises. Uh, I couldn't find it on eBay. Even when I clicked on the order, it said, it wasn't available and I didn't see anywhere on Amazon, but I don't think that matters. If you just look up Hydrilla, you can find it on Amazon. You could definitely find it. There's multiple places outside of eBay, including Amazon. Most of the products I got here today, besides the apple cider vinegar, I did all find on Amazon. However, I'm not telling you, you have to shop at Amazon, you have to shop at eBay. That's just where I found them. But anything with Hydrilla works. And again, this at its core is seaweed. So there's even stuff I get at Trader Joe's that have like seaweed in it. I get like this, um, fried rice that has like seaweed and tofu and stuff in it. So it, it, anything with, that has seaweed in it will work. Personally, I like the hydrilla, but it, it's 
whatever works for you. It's good to go experiment and try different things to see what works for you. And I know over the last three weeks, I've been throwing all these different options out there, right? You don't need them all. And even if you do some of them, you don't need them all in one day. You can alternate with them. Some of them, like the apple cider vinegar, I can do every day. The cacao, I do every day. The shilajit, like I said, I'll do every day, but just for 30 days and then you cycle it out. So I do kind of just space things out. Like I may take this only like once a week, just so I'm still getting it in my body, but there's other sources you could still find it in a lot of plant-based foods, okay? And that wraps up part three of how to decalcify the pineal gland, right? Because we want to know how to keep that third eye open how to do it safely, the most effective way. These methods work, right? We wanna open that third eye and not close it back up again. We wanna keep it open. So these products work, they work. This is what I've been using over the last several years. And in my experience, it helped open up my third eye. It helped me trust my intuition. I learned how to channel. I opened up my psychic senses and you can too. Don't think, well, you did it. I can't, no, no, no. This is our birthright. We can all tap into the psychic senses. We're just not taught how. The first step is decalcifying the pineal gland. So pick a product, try it out. Next week, we've got five more ways to decalcify the pineal gland, okay? So yes, I will see you guys back here, back at the beach next week for Third Eye Thursdays. And don't forget to reaffirm your learning. So comment down below the five things and let me know, do you guys try any of these things? Do you, have you already been incorporating them into your daily life? Or is this something new and you're like, hey, I just tried this and you start to notice maybe you're getting more lucid dreams or whatever it is. I'd love to hear about your guys' experiences. And then if you guys got anything out of this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something that resonated, you learned something. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And there's a little bell right next to it. You'll want to hit that bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. That next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed.